And I'm just sitting here in the silence of the woods, listening to the snow and the freezing rain pelting my hood. And it brought me back to the days in my first cabin when I was uh, 21. And I had a tiny little loft bedroom, you know, it was tiny. And I used to lay in my bed up there and listening to the rain on the roof. And that first year in the cabin, the solitude, it was the first time I ever lived alone. I had been on my own since I was 16, but I always had roommates that I shared apartments with. And there I was alone and I didn't really know anybody in the area and it was, it was quite an experience. Yeah, it really was, but my first winter was quite an experience. Really fond memories, you know, and just hearing the rain on my hood brought me back to that, it was kind of neat. You know, not long ago, one of my friends sent me a gift certificate to Cabela's and I was looking online, to, something to spend it on. And <laughs> I really couldn't find anything that I needed. And I remember way back 20 years ago where I'd opened up a Cabela's catalog and it was like, oh my God, I wish I was a millionaire because there was so many things I wanted and thought I needed, you know? Stuff that I thought would make my life easier, you know? And now, I look through the catalog and there's really nothing I need. So anyway, I'm sitting here out here and I'm really comfortable, okay? And I was thinking about the stuff I was looking at online and I came to the realization that everything I have on is vintage. <laughs> I've had these boots, oh God, probably 20 to 25 years. And these pants, these wool pants were made in 1940. And they are the best quality pants I have ever seen in my life. I mean, it even has this leather strap that goes around the ankle. And this leather is original and it is soft and supple as when it left the factory. Okay, it's impregnated with oil and it is just soft and supple, there's no cracks in it and it's original, that is vintage. Okay, you know, this was thought out, everything was thought out. That strap around the ankles keeps the snow out of my boots. And you buy something nowadays how long is the strap gonna last you? That thing was put on these pants in 1940, man. This is 2016. And they're still in mint condition. They're super warm. Um, deep pockets. I mean, there's so many features to these pants that everything you could need. This coat, this parker, was given to me my brother, I think, found it in a yard sale for like $2.50 about 35 years ago. And I still wear it every winter. It keeps me warm. So I've got boots on that I've had for probably 20, 25 years. These pants were made in 1940. This parka I have had for about 35 years. And this hat here, this bomber hat... I bought that right about the time I bought the boots, so 25 years ago. So everything I got on is old, and uh, I'm going to continue to wear it. And I, and I bet you I will wear this stuff all the way to my grave. You see all the stuff they have online now, you know, with all the trendy logos, and, and it's expensive. <laughs> my God, no wonder everybody's going to work every day. <laughs> Yeah, so that was a nice walk. Really enjoyed that. I trekked around the acreage there, spent a lot of time down around the beaver pond. It was really, really pretty with the snow coming down. Too bad it's turned into freezing rain. We got quite a batch of rain coming. Freezing rain, they're calling for hazardous conditions. So I just been pecking away at some video footage and hanging out in the house, taking care of things. So I decided I'm going to take this time and answer a bunch of questions. I get the same questions asked quite often, 
And instead of typing it out repeatedly, I'm going to go ahead and put together a little Q&A video for you this morning. Now, a lot of folks ask, when they hear me talking about doing shows, or I, I mentioned my business, they want to know what the business is. I co-own a food business where we have our own line of all natural seasoning mixes. We have uh, meat rubs, marinades, dip mixes, sausage blends, stuff like that. Um, I had the business probably, I don't know, seven years or so. The business got really crazy for a while, and then we cut it back, reduced our product line a little bit. Because uh, we, we don't want to get into the wholesaling and multi-chains and all that. So we've uh, kept it small. We do some mail order and maybe 10, 12 shows a year, something like that. It's a nice little home business. And that's what the red building was for that I had delivered to the cabin land, although I haven't touched it since it's been dropped off. At some point, I'll be turning that into a commercial kitchen for the business. Now because Frankie and I are in the woods all the time, I get asked about flea and tick preventative. For myself, I don't really like putting bug repellent on my skin. I will occasionally if I'm in a really bad situation. Most of the time I just spray it on my hat or on a bandana or the cuffs of my pants or something like that. Frankie gets over-the-counter flea and tick preventative like Advantic and NexGuard, stuff like that. But what I rely upon is really just the tick searches. We come out of the woods, get a tick search. If we've been in the woods all day, sometimes Frankie will get several a day. He's really good about it. Um, I find a tick on him. I remove it. He always wants to see it after, which is kind of funny. He's like, he wants to check, make sure I did a good job in removing it. Um, I've trained him since he was a puppy to allow me to do uh, examinations, reach in his mouth, check his teeth, clip his nails, things like that, which has been very helpful for when I have to bring him to the vet. And it's a lot less traumatizing for the dog if they're used to that sort of thing. And I trained Frankie since he was a little puppy to allow all of that to take place without making a fuss. Now, another question. This is one of my favorites. I get asked this a surprising amount of time. And that is, have I ever come across any sign of a Bigfoot? Have I ever had any experiences or interactions with Sasquatch. Well, <laughs> I could come up with a lot of comments to throw out there regarding my younger bar hopping days, but I'll refrain from that. <laughs> uh, but in all honesty, the only interactions with Sasquatch I've ever had was uh, back maybe Four years ago or so, my friend Tom and I out in the woods there in wintertime and we saw some Bigfoot tracks and where the creature had urinated and we it's were discussing Bigfoot, it and, he's and we heard Bigfoot you hear and it scared the bejesus out of us and we run off. But that was the only interactions I've ever had with Sasquatch. Folks are always saying that I should have my own TV show. I doubt very highly that that will happen. I've had eight TV offers so far uh, for some shows for National Geographic, uh, one from Animal Planet, and some other really big label producers. I declined them all. Um, the money would be great. We all need more money. I'm no different in that regard, but how much of my freedom am I willing to sacrifice in the pursuit of money? Well, I think you all know my views on that. Uh, I don't want anybody to answer to, and I certainly don't want them throwing all kinds of ridiculous drama into my videos. I don't need that stuff. Uh, plus, Frankie wouldn't be listening to me. He'd spend the whole time bringing toys to the camera crew, and it wouldn't be a good situation. <laughs> Okay, a few more quick ones and I'll wrap this up. These are real common ones. 
Do I worry about getting rabies? Do I worry about catching Lyme disease? Do I worry about getting injured in the woods? Do I worry about getting attacked by bears or coyotes? Do I worry about getting sick from eating wild game? There's a lot of worrying going on. The answer is no to all of the above. As far as uh, getting injured in the woods and uh, getting sick from wild game, I have more concerns about getting run over by somebody texting when I'm out in public. Uh, and like wild game, I prefer to eat wild game. There's no MSG, no BHA, no BHT. It hasn't been soaked in any fancy solutions. There's no growth hormones and no preservatives. And it doesn't cost me anything. And I harvest it right from my own acreage. So that's the route I prefer to take. Another one. Um, do I ever get lonely uh, or get cabin fever and talk to myself? <laughs> well, <laughs> he ain't talking to himself. He's talking to me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> he's always trying to steal the show. You're worse than Frankie. You're into my beers already? Here's a little cabin fever right here. I just got those from my friend Jared. Give me some of that. That's pretty good beer. It is good beer. How many more of these you got? Some might frown on talking to yourself, but it's better than drinking alone. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yes.